Eagles quarterback just broke huge NFL rule with shocking announcement he made today. Earlier this week, tragedy struck our great nation when a deranged lunatic named Stephen Paddock opened fire at a country music festival killing 59 people and injuring 500 more. After situations like this occur, the mainstream media and politicians begin their search as to why this could have happened. Instead of placing blame on the perpetrator these delicate geniuses typically push for more gun control and new laws to combat evil. However, Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz ventured outside the typical liberal talking points concerning the shooting that has sent shockwaves through the NFL. Over the last several weeks, the American people have had to witness hundreds of NFL players kneeling during the national anthem in protest. These disrespectful players claim that they are drawing attention to racial oppression in America all while cashing million-dollar checks. Then when an actual tragedy befalls the United States, these players are oddly silent on the sidelines. Well, Philadelphia Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz broke that silence and caused quite the controversy by mentioning God. You see, after the horrible mass shooting in Las Vegas on Sunday, Wentz logged on to Twitter and said, the world needs Jesus. Of course, the left will react poorly to Wentz's comments since it is about God and not about hating America or President Trump. As we have seen week after week the NFL and the mainstream are just fine with players disrespecting our veterans by taking a knee but will fine a player for kneeling in prayer. Talk about hypocrisy. The left cannot stand that God was brought up into this conversation since that is something they cannot control. There are those on the left that would rather have the public focus on gun control and causing division between American citizens than speak about God and morality. And, that was proven by the actions of Democratic politicians mere moments after tragedy struck. Hillary Clinton blasted the NRA essentially saying that legal gun owners were the issue for this tragedy. Bernie Sanders jumped on his soapbox yelling for common sense gun laws and Senator Seth Moulton a Democrat from Massachusetts refused to participate in a moment of silence for the victims till stricter gun laws were passed. Unbelievable, right? Oh, and that is just these compassionate individuals warming up. Here is more from Washington Examiner. Republicans signaled Monday that they weren't close to considering a new gun control bill anytime soon even in the face of pressure from Democrats who say the Las Vegas shooting that killed 59 people means it's time for Congress to act. It's a sign the GOP will once again rebuff efforts to pass any gun bill that Democrats have been seeking in the wake of a string of mass shootings around the nation. I just think politicizing this terrible tragedy is beyond disgusting and we ought to wait a respectful period of time out of respect for people who lost their lives or were injured before we get into the push and shove of politics around here," said Senate Majority Whip John Cornyn, Republican Texas, when asked about the possibility of a bill. Senator Mike Rounds, RSD, agreed that it's too early to talk about gun control legislation. We do much better work when we allow the haze to clear, Rounds said. Most people I've talked to and visited with have been more focused on victims and their families right now and will start out by offering our condolences to the families and those who are injured. Then, let's get the facts about what happened and determine how this individual obtained the firearms. Did he have mental issues? Let's get the facts. Republicans have often argued that the perpetrators of mass shootings are already lawbreakers and that new laws aren't necessary and wouldn't be effective. This time, however, the GOP is up against the largest mass shooting in history, which prompted Democrats to call on Congress to immediately do something to reduce gun violence. Thankfully, the Republicans were able to stop this bill from passing but as we all know liberal gun grabbers won't stop till they get their way. These politicians are more focused on the symptoms in our society than the solution, which for many people, including Wentz, is God. Instead. The left would prefer to fan the flames of division by allowing players to kneel on a football field in protest than see a player kneel in prayer. That was proven in the past when Christian quarterback Tim Tebow caused controversy by kneeling and giving thanks to God. If that is not a telling sign of how far our country has fallen, then I don't know what is. If these players in the NFL have the right to kneel to raise awareness to racial oppression, 
then gentlemen like Wentz should be able to mention God and Neil in prayer without criticism. criticism.